One time you used to wonder when I was going to quit this drag race and stuff and worry about preparing for my future, but then one day I just looked around and things were really going pretty good. When Ron Coulson was driving for me, there was a time when after he had been reprimanded for mistakes behind the wheel, uh, you know, he said, he said, well, you know, he said a, a driver is only expected to work 20 or 30 seconds a week. He said, you'd think a guy could do it right for that length of time. Fortunate, you know, it's uh, uh, never went to Chi Town Hustler did we have to go bail anyone out of jail. We, we didn't have to take anyone to the hospital for more than, than a, a quick sew up or something. You know, I don't doubt that if, if Jungle was still with us today, uh, he'd have, have been, you know, one of the more competitive racers on the circuit. Uh, I believe he'd have continued driving as long as he could walk because that was something that was, you know, genuinely in his blood, but, you know, tuning came to him naturally. What we decided we needed was a young guy that, you know, that was all full of boyish enthusiasm that might make us want to get up in the morning and try a little harder and Holly turned out to be that guy. Well, you know, it, it, we got to a point with the Chi-Town Hustler that we were looking at a bleak future. Uh, we had just, you know, just heard that our major sponsor from Resloan, the, the fellow that, that controlled our sponsor deal had passed away and his successor did not want to continue the deal. Uh, we had gotten gotten told by Frank Hawley that he was not coming back to drive for us again the next year. He was called and, and told me I needed to come to work for him. And, uh, you know, I told him I needed a couple of weeks to think it over and he said that'd be fine and then he called me every four hours until I agreed. <laughs> and that's pretty much how it all got started. Force, the quintessential self-promoter, hired the highly respected Austin Coyle as crew chief and engine tuner, not knowing if their styles would match. I didn't keep my cool, I just didn't show it to everybody. I was a nervous wreck. I had, had stomach problems from indigestion. You know, I, I ate Rolaids like they were candy. It's like I was upset most of the time. It's just, you know, I felt it was unprofessional to stand on the starting line and scream like a raving maniac, and that I didn't do that. I don't know, some, some of the old guys I worked with, you know, nicknamed me the tyrant. I don't think it's because I was so mild-mannered. When you look back at your career, what are you the most proud of? 17 you know, world championships. I mean, that's a mark that'll be really hard to beat.